had two main goals in mind with this project. I wanted to have easy access to my kitchen setup, particularly for when I just wanted to prepare a quick breakfast or a cup of coffee. And I wanted more space inside the vehicle for gear when camping and taking trips. To accomplish this, I mounted the spare tire on the hitch, which I'll cover in another video. And I built the slide out table drawer raised by gas struts to access the storage space underneath. Following is some of that process. The first step is to remove the bin in the back, which is pretty straightforward. They're the two screws that hold the tie downs. Once you remove those and the weather stripping, you can access the two bolts that hold down the front. You can see them there. And then in the rear, after lifting this panel, you can access the two screws that hold down the rear. Once these screws and nuts are removed, the last thing to disconnect is the keyless entry sensor. Once that's out, the bin lifts off pretty easily. This part of the build is the base for the drawer to sit on. I created these two brackets that the base can screw into. This is a pin switch that I installed that'll turn the lights off when the lid is closed. I found hinges that would allow me to remove the drawer if I needed to without too much difficulty. This part that's painted black is the part I had previously built. Uh, it's part of the drawer. And the cutouts were largely there to lighten things up. It also makes for a convenient handle. Most of the build is just plywood. And I had some bars that you can see there uh, left over from an old roof rack that I used to give it a little extra strength while maintaining light weight. A lot of the processes in this build were first for me, like doing this carpeting portion of it. So it was definitely a learning process, but overall I'm pretty happy with the way things turned out. This is a brief overview of how I set up the lights, although I did end up changing some things, uh, which I may make a, another video about. Essentially, I set up this battery with a charger that charges when the car is driving, and it powered a couple things in the back, the lights, uh, as well as a water pump that I have for a water system, which I'll also make another video about. But I wanted to at least show um, a little bit of the wiring for the rear lights. The struts. I ended up drilling and threading into the side of the vehicle there, and they seem to be holding up pretty well. That's the sensor. I just velcroed it down instead of 
screwing it back into something. And here's the install. So the rear fits over the bolts that hold the seat down. That worked out real well and it's real sturdy. And then the front uh, bolting down to the bolts that were already there. It also holds it nice and sturdy. Here's another view of the pin switch. It basically splits the negative, the ground wire, which then, when the lid is closed, turns it off. And then I installed a little locking mechanism, um, partly for security, but also it, it's just an extra uh, strength to hold the drawer shut, particularly if I happen to be on rough roads. And this is uh, attaching the bottom to the drawer part. Again, I used those wood nuts so that it would be easy to take things apart and put it back together. I didn't want to make anything too permanent. And it worked out quite well. It also makes it easier if at any point I decide I want to change something. It's easy to just take the pieces apart and redo a portion of it without necessarily redoing the whole thing. The struts that I used actually took multiple tries to figure out the right weight, particularly there's a big difference when the drawer is loaded and not loaded. I ended up going with a different pair than you see there. Um, and if there's actually interest, feel free to leave questions in the comments. I may end up getting a list together of what I use, the products that I used, uh, and where to pick them up. If, so if you have interest, uh, let me know and I'll put some time into that. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed. This is actually my first attempt at a YouTube video. Um, so hopefully it wasn't too bad. I'm sure hopefully things will get better as I get a little more experience with it. I have a few more projects related to the Jeep that I'll be posting soon. One is the water system. Another is the roof rack. Um, so if you liked it, go ahead and Give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.